Hello, in this video we're going to be building some diagonal roads on a slope just like this, except we're just going to do it down here. So my plan is we're going to take this road and we're just going to extend it down this hill, uh, but obviously there's some trees in the way, so the first step is to get rid of the trees. So take your world edit one, do double slash one, and then do double slash cell poly. So this just means we're doing a polygon selection. Press enter, and now we can select it. So basically what we're doing is we're creating a polygon around these trees and then we will delete the materials. So we are going to find a block and we are going to left click for the first position. We are going to make a straight line between here and here. Position two is this right here. And we're just going to create a circle around these trees. And then we'll put our last position right here. We're going to expand the vertical. And now we can come over here and pick out these materials. So we just have two. We have the acacia fence and the oak leaves. And for both of these materials, you're going to hold them in your hotbar. And you're going to type this command, press enter. It'll delete those for you. Scroll to your second one, and then just do the same thing. So now that your terrain is clear, you can go ahead and create a template. So we will be using the same template as this right here, but I will rebuild it for this video. So we will start by having this template right here. So you can see that I just added this glass over top so that we can copy it. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna start with the preliminary layer. So we're gonna start on the bottom here. So we're just going to look straight down and copy the materials. So instead of the mossy cobblestone stairs, what we're going to do is we're going to find the mossy cobblestone and place it right here. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So it's this one and this one. So we need both of them here. Since we are using this pattern with the stairs where it zigzags back and forth. And then we are going to fill in the road texture with the cyan terracotta using cube pack. On the other side, we can go ahead and use the infested cracked stone bricks and then put this as the other side block. Okay, so that's the first layer. Now, just double checking to make sure we're still in our polygon selection. We're going to do a left click right here for our first position, right click, right click, and right click again. And now we will stack this two upwards. So it looks a little bit weird right now, but we can go ahead and delete the center part. And then we just have to focus on these two blocks right here. So I like to use this pattern with the stairs here. And to make this pattern work, you have to go like this and then put another one like this. And then we'll do the same thing on the other side, put this here and then one here. So there's a reason why this template has an extra layer on the bottom here, but I'll show you that once we get down there. But for now, what you're going to do is you're going to copy this whole thing. Once again, use your polygon selection, stand on one of the blocks, copy it, go over diagonally by one. I'm holding shift, so I'm sort of on the edge of the ledge here. And you're just going to paste it in. See, so now this is going to look a little bit off because we did not have a larger template. So to make this a little better, we're just going to do another one. Hold shift, go over diagonally, and paste. From here, we can go back here, grab our mossy cobblestone stairs, and we can just remake this right here. And then it looks a little bit better. So the thing that's going to be causing us issues as we repeat this template is this block on the end. So if you have world edit, what you're going to do is you're going to go back to your cuboid selection. You're going to select this one block, copy it, move over by one, and paste it. We'll turn around and do the same thing on the other side. There you go, so now it's in place and we have our template. Let's go back to our polygon selection, select our template, and then what we can do is we can find the center point and copy. Since we copied from this part right here, it's right in the middle. So if we go down here, we can find that this block here is the center point. So we'll stand on top of here and do double slash paste and put it right there. So as you paste your template down this hill here, you may notice that you start to get either terrain or grass on top of it. What you wanna to do to avoid this is back at your template selection, select your polygon and then select your template. But instead of having the selection from here down to here, extend it up by five or 10 blocks, however much you need. And then when you go ahead to paste it, do not include this minus A at the bottom. The purpose of this minus A is so that it does not paste air. If you're trying to keep the terrain off of it, take this out and just do a normal paste. So to avoid this problem going down the hill, I'm just going to expand five upwards on our original selection and then recopy. So we can fly back down here. We will find our center point again, but notice how it drops by one block. So to maintain this curb here, we are going to push this down by one, and then we are going to do double slash paste. If we look over in this corner right here, we can see that the mossy cobblestone block that we originally added right there is actually exposed. So this is the reason why we have a little bit of depth to it. Uh, you can usually get away with just these two, but when you are building in more hilly areas, uh, especially terrain that's very steep, it might come down this side, it might be a cut, and then really deep on that side, you may want to have this here, so it's easier to put in a retaining wall on one side. 
But if you're working with similar terrain that sort of looks like this rather than that stuff up there, then you don't really need to worry about this. A personal note here, instead of zigzagging back and forth right here, I like to take this one and just pull it in like this. I think it feels a little bit cleaner. So when you're walking on the sidewalk, it's a little more welcoming when you jump up here. So we'll do the same thing here. We'll just replace this one. You'll also notice that there's a disconnect right here and right here. So we'll go ahead and we'll just fix that. So once you have this figured out, you just repeat those steps over and over until you get all the way down the hill. Once you get this process down pat, making diagonal roads is going to be a lot easier. Now that we've done this, we can go in the center again and just repeat the same process. When you're making slopes for roads, just be careful of how steep your road actually is. Because if you had a road that went like this and then down here, and then right here it cut off and then went down another one, it's going to look really weird because you'd be going down a relatively uniform hill and then it would just drop off. So I know this isn't always possible, especially for parking garage ramps into the underground parking of buildings, uh, but when you can avoid it, it certainly helps. Something you might notice with this road is that this level is attached to this sidewalk, but then here you have a jump of one. So what I try and do with my roads when you have a situation like this is have the higher of the two connect to your sidewalk, and then on the other side, you will have your drop. So on this side, either you will raise the terrain to meet that level so it feels a lot more uniform, or you will have sort of a retaining wall that goes down into the terrain uh, just to hold back the sidewalk up here and then keep it separate. You don't have to, but it shows that you're paying attention to the engineering behind your roads. It may not be a detail that many people notice, but if you have professional builders checking out your build, then they certainly will. Anyway, that's it for this video. Uh, if you want more content like this, then be sure to check out my city series that's coming out very, very soon.